The women's rugby sevens team won their first ever medal in Olympic history. And they did it in thrilling fashion, beating Australia as time expired to capture the bronze. There are several members on the team with New England ties, including Franklin's own Christy Kershey and Ilona Marr from Vermont. What an awesome day for Team USA. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. I'm Priscilla Casper. And I'm Colton Bradford. So this is also the first Olympic medal for American rugby, women or men, since 1924, 100 years ago. That's also the last time that Paris hosted the Games. NBC 10's Oscar Margain got reaction from local rugby players who followed Team USA all the way. The women's rugby team completing their medal run in Paris, a goal never reached before by Team USA. So excited about women's rugby, you don't hear a lot of people talk about it, and now everybody's a buzz. Taking bronze, the squad beat Australia to secure a spot on the podium. USA is not historically a rugby power of the world, so to be competing with these top elite teams, it's just really incredible. These rugby players from the North Shore take pride in what the women in Paris have done for the sport. So I'm just really inspired by the humility and their ability to work together throughout the Olympics. New England represented in USA women's rugby, including Christy Kirschie of Franklin, Mass., who joined the sport only six years ago after finishing college. She spoke with NBC 10's Bianca Beltran before heading to Paris. Just such a testament to the how much this team has grown and changed and like pushed ourselves in the last few years to be medal contenders, to be in a position where we can beat some of the best teams in the world. A fan of goodwill hunting and a proud number 12 bearer like Brady, Boston runs in her blood, but it's her love for the sport that she wants to share with the world. We would love to see like a medal performance really just absolutely grow the game in America and get so many young girls playing the sport and falling in love with the sport and feeling as empowered and confident as we all are. So this is the end of the Olympic rugby run for the women in Paris. They walk away with their head held high, raising the bar for the next group competing in L.A. in 2028. Reporting in Burlington, Oscar Margain, NBC10 Boston.